Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am here in my actual home bedroom. I have been traveling, I've traveled for 10 months and then I've come back for a short time. So I thought it would be the perfect time to do my year update with my dreads. It has actually been over a year. It's been about a year and two months, but I was still away when the year came around. I just didn't have the time or the space to do the video. So that was the time. Fast forward to the future. Okay, so this video is gonna be a little bit here and there. That footage that you've just seen, I filmed back in October and it is now January. So what happened was my SD card became corrupt and I had to recover some of the files. So I lost loads of footage in just one video. So I'm gonna bounce back and forth from then to now to give you my year update on my dreadlocks. Obviously, as you can see, my dreads look totally different to what they look like in the last footage, but I got my dreads extended after I filmed this. So just be prepared for me to be talking about dreads then and then jumping into now. So please stay tuned. I know it's a bit all over the place, but this is the only video that's gonna be like this. I'm gonna give you my advice and I've got a list of things that I wanna to talk to you guys about, all right? So enjoy the video. Mwah. So in that footage, I had had my hair dreaded for about a year and two months. I thought it would be cool to film it in the same place as where I filmed my last dread videos. So now it's January the 14th and I've had my dreads for a year and five months present. So obviously a lot of things do change when you have dreads. It's just a natural thing with them. That's what I love about dreads is that they're always different. I feel like even though you're having the same style of hair every single day, it does change. It's not like you're never gonna have a different look. You can change them up, you can add bees, you can dye them, you can do all sorts of stuff. But I do wanna touch on the fact that my hair changed so much in the whole year that I had them. First four months, I didn't feel that they shrank or anything like that. They didn't really get any loops, as you can see in my three month dreadlock update. But once I'd left the country and I started traveling, that's when things started looking different. I found the more I went swimming, the you know, especially in the ocean, that the length started reducing. So they started shrinking even more and more and more and more. And the color started actually lightening up loads because the sun does change the color of your hair anyway. It lightens it naturally. So when it's in a dread, you can see it really does change the color once your hair starts growing out from the root because your hair grows out from the root and it's darker naturally, you know, because it's your actual color. It looked like I had an ombre look. I haven't actually dyed my hair. This is just the same dreads as what I had and it just, the, the sun has lightened them. My dreadlock extensions were dark, but because they're extensions, they lighten up so much. They lightened up to the color of this. This is the color that they lightened up to and you can compare that to these ones and it looks like really really blonde so eventually all of these extensions are going to turn this color i touch on the extensions in another whole other video but yes yeah, so the look changed dramatically i think compared to when i first left and in fact i actually preferred my hair when i first got them done because i love length as you can tell that's why i got some more extensions done because when i haven't got long hair i just don't feel like myself i feel less feminine i feel I don't think that there's anything wrong with having, having short dreads. I think they look absolutely beautiful on everyone. But for me, I just didn't like mine like that. I felt that I like longer hair because I can play with it a bit more and have a, just a more of a feminine look. It's just the way I like things. I had long hair before I got dreads. Then I got dreads and had them long and then they shrank and then I was like, oh my God. I think the reason why my dreads shrank so quickly was because I was going in, in and out of the ocean so often. I did a lot of free diving when I was traveling. I think the salt water really makes it shrink. I don't know what it is about them, but it just, for me, that was just the case. So I do think that if you wash your hair quite frequently when you've got dreads, I, I feel like you're gonna be more prone to your dreads shrinking a lot quicker. The weird thing was is that they were shrinking, but they didn't seem to be growing. Like they were growing, but they were constantly shrinking. So it was as if my hair was growing and this, the, this part of it was shrinking. So it was just going like this. So it just, I just, didn't feel like I got any length from it. It's interesting because this dread here, this bit, this lump happened a long time ago. It was when I first actually went out traveling and it was like up here. And now that's grown that much. So you can see that this is all 
my own length from my own hair. It's just interesting because it was growing, but it just didn't look like it. So all my extensions were obviously just on a huge shrinkage stage. And also I wanna talk about loops as well. So if you look back on my three month update, I had a few loops here and there that they weren't massive. I got my dreads maintained literally just before I went out traveling. So they were fresh. I started realizing loads of loops happening maybe about two months into my travel. So I think, I think it was around February time because I remember I was in Laos and I just felt like my dreads looked super, super messy. Now, I think that all dreads are beautiful no matter how they look. So if you like the messy look and you have dreads and yours are like messy and you know, hairs everywhere, great. That's, that's uh, you know, they look beautiful. But for me, I just don't think that they suit me, okay? We all have our own preferences, right? And I like the really straight kind of just tidy dread you know so all the hairs in there are tucked away and there's no loops and whatnot i i like that look that's for me i i love that so yeah i realized i was getting all these loops and i had them everywhere because that's just what happens in the first five six seven months that you do still get loops that pop up here and there but for me i I thought, right, I need to do something about this. So I bought myself a crochet needle and I started doing maintenance myself. I just practice on myself and yeah, eventually I managed to, to mask getting the, the loops in and I've managed to keep my dreads pretty tidy throughout my travels. I'm trying to figure out like roughly how much I've probably done maintenance on my hair and it's been a lot, to be fair. I would say maybe I've been doing maintenance every couple of months or something like that. And um, at one point when I arrived in Australia, there was a guy there and um, he had a dread shop and I just thought, you know what? I just need to have like someone else do it because it was effort for me. And I think where well, I'd been doing it myself, but I was learning, I was practicing on myself. I just, I felt like it might have, it could have been tidier. So yeah, maintenance, pretty easy. You just get your crochet hook, you put it through the middle and any kind of bits of hair that are sticking out, you just kind of hook it with the little end and you pull it back through and you just do that all the way. You do it all the way down, but don't always do it all the way down. Only do it on your roots most of the time. And if you feel like there is a loop that you don't like, you can pull it back through, but just so that if you want it done on the whole dread instead of just the roots and you know, just be a bit wary. You don't want to keep tearing your hair. Do it yourself is the cheapest way. The reason I'm talking a lot about my travels in this is because most of my time away was most of the time I had dreads. So, you know, I only had dreads four months before I left on my travels and then I'm still technically traveling. I'm in New Zealand right now. I'm not in the UK. So part of my travel but you know if i talk about that a lot that's why i will do a video about what it's like to travel with dreadlocks so with washing i think the maximum i've left it is about three weeks but i wash my hair every two to three weeks and it's really pretty simple because they are thicker and because they're like shorter now because because they've got thicker it does take a lot longer to dry i've noticed which is kind of annoying but it is just what it is so i'll just wash my hair and i'll just tie it up in a towel and i'll just keep it in the towel for maybe an hour and it would just like i'll really let the hair soak so uh the hair sorry the what <laughs> I really let the water soak into the towel and hopefully out of my dreads. I, I don't use heat. I don't actually own a hairdryer. You can use a hairdryer and it'll obviously help your hair dry a lot quicker, but I just don't. And I would say as well, after about a year, it is probably quite a good idea to kind of put some conditioner into your the ends of your dreads just to keep your hair moisturized. Whilst I was traveling, I was actually using coconut oil and every time I washed my hair, I'd brush all these ends so that they weren't knotty, so that they stayed like loose hair. And I'd always put coconut oil in the ends. But yeah, these are actually extensions, so. But they've stayed pretty soft. They are just a bit thinner now, that's the only thing. But I just think in the first stages, in the first few months, don't do that because your hair will probably be more prone to maybe falling out or coming out of the dread. But now that you've had them for like a year, they're, they're definitely gonna be staying in there. You know, there's no way they're gonna come out. Just in general, how much I wash my hair, I would say once a month now. It's really got to a point where it's about once a month maybe three weeks to once a month. And to some people that don't have dreads or people that don't like dreads might think that's disgusting. But for me, I know my hair's clean. Usually it's when I start feeling like my head's maybe getting a bit itchy, then I know, okay, I need to wash it because it doesn't feel nice. But I just generally, I don't log down a day, you know, oh, it's been a month, so I'm gonna wash my hair now. It's not like that. It's generally, it goes by how I'm feeling about my hair. If I'm feeling like, oh, I definitely need to wash, then I will wash it, you know? But my dreads are far from dirty. They are super clean. I, I hate having, I would hate to have dirty dreads, to be honest, like that's just not, I'm a very clean person. And for me to have 
dirty hair would just be a massive, I just a massive no-go for me. So I keep my dreads super tidy. Washing your dreads maybe once a month might be a lot to some people with dreads. It might be too little for some people. It really just goes by personal preference. I know people that wash their hair nearly every single day and they've got dreads. I also know people that wash their hair twice a week, once a week, every two weeks, every month, every three weeks, every five months. You know, it is just all by personal preference. So, you know, if I work out often and you're sweating a lot, you wanna wash your hair, you know, it just goes by that. Since I've had longer dreads, me tell you i wash it maybe once a month since this because oh, it just takes so long to dry it's perfect when you're in a hot climate it dries so quick but when you're not oh, it takes such a long time because they're so long but i'll touch on what it's like having long dreads in another video <laughs> i still use a shampoo bar it's the easiest way for me it's the lightest way to to carry and they smell really good but i'm gonna try and find some more different brands i think when i when i actually get home have I wanted to take my dreads out? So I didn't get my dreads so that I can take them out, you know, soon. Cause sometimes you get the question, you'll find this if, if you've just got dreads or, you know, if you have dreads. I don't know why, but people like to ask, when do you think you're gonna take your dreads out? And it's not something that I think about. I just, I got dreads because I wanted a new hairstyle and it's something that you need to be committed to, at least for a couple of years, you know? Taking them out is a pain in the butt. Let's be honest, it's a pain in the butt. You can brush them out, and I think maybe in the future I will probably take my dreads out. It's not it's not something that I'm not, not planning on doing, but again, at this stage in my life, I want to keep them in, and I know I'm gonna keep them in. I like how my hair looks at the moment. I think I'm comfortable like this, but yeah, maybe one day I'll take them out and see how I feel about that. It's, it would be interesting to see how long my hair is if I took them out, because my hair was super long before I got them. But in the future, you know, it could be a possibility that I'll take them out. I'm never gonna cut them out. I will brush them out. I'm never gonna have short hair. It's just not me. It just doesn't suit me. It really doesn't. I need long hair. <laughs> I need long hair to feel myself, okay? I absolutely love having them. I have got to a stage now when they got shorter and shorter, I was just feeling less and less feminine. My sister did mention this and I just kind of was like, oh, okay, you know. She said, you do get to a stage sometimes where you feel a little bit less feminine and I did hit that stage and I didn't expect it to happen, but it took a while. So yeah, I've come back home and I've <laughs> mentioned it to my sister. I was like, I really want to extend my dreads. And we've just started adding them to my hair. Like I said at the start, I actually love having long dreads it's just i feel so much better with them being longer when they were shorter they were much easier i'll be honest they were much easier to handle i could sleep better and all that kind of stuff but yeah since having these it's a bit more hassle maybe more than i anticipated i thought maybe it would be like oh it's super easy because they're super easy now but actually it's a little bit more tricky it's just something you have to deal with but the great thing about it is that it, this is not actually my real hair this this is extension so if i want to take them out i can take them out it's not going to be a problem we'll see in a couple of months time how short they get whether they get any shorter whether they grow i really don't know but right now i'm absolutely loving having long dreads it's just i love it <laughs> We'll touch on sleeping now. In this whole time that I've had dreads, sleeping had not been an issue. When I had shorter dreads, I actually slept fine. I would put my hair in a bun every time I'd go to bed and I would sleep with it up here. But <laughs> since having longer dreads, it's been different. If I tie it in a bun, the bun is so big that I have to make sure I've got enough space between my head and the headboard behind me or the wall behind me so that I can sleep comfortably. Com comfortably or i'll just tie my hair up in a pony and leave it hanging down to the side so i kind of have to sleep and pull my hair out like this on the pillow i have fallen asleep with my hair down before and that was because when i was in peru i had to have these plant baths every single day for 15 days i was going to bed with wet hair it was just savage but at the same time the plant baths were part of the experience which if you've done ayahuasca you'll know what i mean by that it's not something comfortable to sleep with, put it that way. Sleeping with them myself is a is a pain in the ass. So I, you know, yeah, I can't imagine someone would find it comfortable sleeping next to me with this. It's like a pet, the size of Jarawa, pretty much. Anyway, I do sleep fine. I don't struggle to sleep. It's not something that keeps me up at night. It's just sometimes I wake up and they're there, you know, and I'm, I'm like, uh, okay, get that out. Some people find it comfortable, some people don't. It's all down to you. Are they hot? 
Throughout this whole year of having them, I have been to some extremely hot countries and I am gonna be completely straight with you, they're fine. <laughs> I have not struggled with the heat with my hair. It's not something that I've thought, oh my God, they're too hot. Honestly, when it's hot, the longest they've been has probably been to here. If it's hot, I just tie my hair up. That's it, get it out of my face, done wrap it up in a scarf, done. I'm not gonna keep it down because when it's on my back, it is warm, like don't get me wrong. It could be hot if you utilize it in the correct manner. Hello, if you're cold, then use it as a scarf. This literally stays. If you had a hood, you'd be good, man. You don't have to worry about a scarf. <laughs> but yeah, so they are not hot unless you utilize them in a correct manner that keeps you warm if you need it. So are they heavy? They're heavy now. When my hair, previously before I got these extensions done. They weren't heavy at all. They didn't feel heavy. Maybe when I washed my hair, they were a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit heavy. Not like major, so don't, don't get it twisted. So putting it in a bun as well, fine. Didn't bother me at all. But since I've got the extensions, wow. Okay, yes, they are heavy. I will put my hair in a bun and it will be like, I'm not joking you, probably about that tall, the bun. Imagine that, like, Right. and around that big so it's huge it is huge and i'll be honest when my hair's in a bun my neck does get a bit sore when i'm washing my hair oh my goodness it's really heavy <laughs> like super super heavy i washed my hair yesterday and i put my hair in like a towel it was so heavy i was <laughs> just oh my goodness <laughs> your neck that is one thing the longer they are the heavier they're gonna be the shorter they are the less heavy they're gonna be that's kind of common sense to be fair <laughs> okay have i found them itchy yes i actually suffer with eczema and i go through stages it seems to be whenever i'm really really stressed my head gets really quite bad or when it gets really cold i touched on this on my one month with dreadlock video i still get it in the same patches it's kind of around here it gets super itchy i suffer with skin conditions so it's not really something i can help but there is shampoos out there that you can get that are prescribed by doctors what i actually do if my head's really itchy i will use cream and i will actually rub it on my scalp because it's because i've got it doesn't really matter if my hair is greasy you can't see it so i'm with dry skin do i get dry skin yeah i do like it, it's just a thing everyone gets dry skin on their scalp i'm sorry it i from what i've seen everyone does and you get it with dreadlocks yes it does get stuck it gets stuck in your dreads the best thing to do if you do get dry skin stuck in your dreads get a pair of tweezers and pluck it out not the actual hair but pluck the, the dry skin out it's just a tip okay and it's just a thing it's a natural thing don't judge it's not gross if you think it's gross then why are you watching my video do i style my hair styling styling is something i want to mention i find it harder to style when it's this length because if i try and put it in a bun usually when you've got longer dreads you can just wrap it around and it just stays but whereas like these are quite short they don't look short but when you're putting it in a bun and you're trying to twist it round, it just doesn't stay so i have to use this bobble for example i'd only be able to put that around once but i just tie that around there i have got like this big band that i usually wrap around twice but yeah it is a little bit harder to style like i don't actually braid my hair or anything like that because it's too thick and it's too short so if it is braided it just stays in place like this and it doesn't really move i'm looking forward to being able to just tie it up in a bun and it just be so much easier i can do it all right with like a little bit but it's actually quite hard look can you see that actually the best way to do it is sort of to wrap little bits at a time but it is a bit of a pain it is a bit annoying so there we go there's the bun but whether that stays or not i don't know that's kind of the good thing about having dread you can just tie it up but i am looking forward to having a bigger bun more hair to be able to play around with now that i have longer hair i honestly don't really style it that often i tie it in a high ponytail i can tie it in a high ponytail with my hair so that's kind of like useful but at the same time i like to have it down sometimes i'll only really have it in a bun in a high pony or down that's it and if i have it in a bun i've only just started wearing wraps i really really would like to do a dreadlock style video so stay tuned for that one because that will be 
fun to make. I might even get my sister to show us because she's got some really good ones. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you decide whether you want dreadlocks or not. Any questions that you have, please leave them down below. And I've got so many ideas to do other dreadlock videos coming this year, so stay tuned for that. Eventually, I will like to do a Q&A, so if you wanna follow me on Instagram, I'll link it down below. Just send me a DM, and if you have any questions regarding dreadlocks, I will hopefully answer them for you. If you have any ideas on what videos you'd like to see regarding dreadlocks, I'm here for you okay you guys have any tips or anything leave it down below let's like get this little community going oh my god <laughs> a bug just nearly flew in that was really big as well i really love you being here thank you so much for all your support and just encouragement uh i love you all thank you so much for watching guys stay tuned for the next dreadlock video and take care of yourselves bye guys traveling with them was the best decision i think i made Thank you.